So, Sushil, it's always uh, nice to have you here in Chennai. And thank you so much for taking time off and coming here. So, to, just to introduce Sushil Kodali, I always say it's easy to introduce people who need no introduction. The head of the Structural Heart Program at uh, Columbia University, also the director of the Fellowship Program, uh, lead investigator in the Sentinel Trials, uh, co-investigator in the Partner Trials. This interview will go on and on if I have to say all he's been up to. But uh, what I want to know today from Sushil is that uh, what drives you? Oh, a lot of things. Uh, I started with TAVR back in 2005 and the device iteration or understanding the procedure, understanding CT, understanding how to read CT and constantly learning is what's driving it. And then it's just that's just the tip of the iceberg. Now we're doing mitral and tricuspid transcatheter. You know, a lot of those aren't working, a lot of those won't work, but it's that process of figuring out what works, what doesn't. To me, it's fun. Uh, it, it's In the end, it's still patients and patient care, and we want to treat the patients ultimately. But I think we're, with this, we're providing opportunities and innovations that allow us to treat patients who otherwise don't have good options. Coming back to India, right? You were one of the few who was there when it all began, right, right? in the Western world. So India is now an infant in structural heart. What do you see for India? What do you think India needs from the structural heart perspective? But I think the, the challenges are, are several. Uh, one, you know, concentrating the experience. Like I think one of the advantages I had is you know, there were limited centers, limited experience. So the experience was concentrated. So, you know, and the challenges are people being able to commit the time. Because it's not, you know, it's not just go in, do the case and be right. done, right? It's seeing the patients, understanding the CT, understanding the anatomy, understanding what you're dealing with. And to make make it adequate to commit the time, there has to be enough volume to justify your commitment. So, so you start, you know, that that's p part of the challenge, right? Such a pertinent yeah. answer because especially in a market like in India, which is 100% self-paying, right? Right. So you need to find people with the skill, with the infrastructure, and with the practice to be able to get these patients regular enough and often enough to become good at it. Correct. So Correct. And I think that's the challenge. So I think one thing that we need in India is, is a lower cost valve. Yes. Because that way, then, then, the, then it broadens the pool of patients that are applicable, and then the experience in any one center gets more. So what was your experience at the summit today? Did you, uh, I mean, how would you like the questions? What do you think of the average latitude of thought of the people? Because we're all babies. Right. And No, I think there were very interesting and pertinent questions. People clearly have insight, right? And I, and I think you know, the, the insight comes from the broader experience, right? I think that, you know, there's a lot of courses, but I think part the value of some of these courses is to transmit the knowledge, right? So the questions were very pertinent and relevant because they already had some insight from even the, even the people that had done 10, 20 cases knew a lot more than I even uh, knew at 500 cases, right? So because the, at 1020, they know more than I did at 500. And so I think that's that's where this value is. So I knew a lot of things. Now I see the modest Sushil Kodali yeah, as yeah. well, is it? Yeah, no. How was your experience at Sentient 2019? And what are your plans for Sentient 2020? No, I think it's, it's great. I mean, you know, you know the, the rest of the program, I'm sure, will continue and, and will be wonderful. I think this first day was amazing. Uh, I think there's a lot of interaction. There's a lot of enthusiasm. People want to learn. And I think that whenever you put on a meeting, that's what you want. You want to make sure that people are getting Absolutely. what they want out of it, right? And I think that, that's, the, the, that's the great thing. Um, I think there are some ideas for next, next year and for other meetings. Um, people uh, talked about doing workshops with this, uh, reviewing CTs and echoes and more hands-on. And maybe that's something that uh, would be a focus for next year. Because I think, again, we need to deliver what people are looking for. Uh, and, and I think taking back uh, the feedback and, and, and making it better, you know, not just another meeting, but to, to provide the educational opportunities, the goal. So it was fabulous to have you here. And I feel so jealous America has you and we have to borrow you and steal you away from them every now and then. But uh, just to summarize something I'd like to say, I'd actually like to quote Aristotle. Those who know do, but it takes those who understand to teach. Sushil Kodali, thank you so much. Thank you so much thank for you having for being me. Here. It was a pleasure. Can't wait to see you again. You too. Thank you.